Hello, welcome to the Maya Toolbells. This is Michael. Today I thought we'd talk about the Edit Membership Tool. You can find this in the Animation menu set here, in this pull-down menu. And then over here we have Edit Deformers, Edit Membership Tool. So it's a deformer editing tool, which means first we need a deformer to edit. So I thought since we've already talked about it in a video before, we'll use a lattice. And you can find my lattice video by clicking here in the middle of the screen. It'll take you to the lattice video to tell you all about lattices. So I don't have to explain it too much right here. If you really want to know more about it, you can find them there. So, but first we'll create a sphere. Go to create polygon primitives sphere. And I'll just create a quick one here. And then I'm going to apply a lattice to this sphere. But I don't want to apply it to the whole sphere. Just for the sake of this uh, demonstration, I'll apply it to half the sphere. So I'm going to right click on the sphere and choose vertices or vertex. And I'm going to draw a box around half of my sphere's vertices like this. And I'm not worried about being too exact, so you see it's kind of uh, bleeding down here to this edge a little bit with my selection, but that's okay. So with these vertices selected, I'm going to apply a lattice, which can be found under Create Deformers lattice and I'm going to go into the options and reset my settings just to make sure they're all default values here and create and this gives me this box around my selection and this is a lattice and what, really quickly what a lattice does if I right click on it and select lattice points I have these points on my box and I can move those points around and it'll change the shape of the sphere based on where these quadrants are located on the sphere like so. But let's say that after creating this lattice I don't like that these points down here have been included. I don't want them in the lattice. That means I would need to edit the membership of the lattice. If I select my lattice and go to Edit Deformers, Edit Membership Tool, you can see all my points on the sphere change colors. I'm going to hide the grid for now. So the points that I have applied the lattice to are all yellow, and the points that are not applied to the lattice show up as purple. So if I want to clean this up so that these points down here are not included in the lattice, if I hold down control and just drag a box around them, it'll deselect them from the lattice membership, and they become purple like the other dots that are not included in the lattice. I can also hold shift and add points to the lattice. If I wanted to shift and drag these points, it'll add these to the lattice. Since they're not, not within the lattice's bounding box, they're not going to be affected right now. So I can undo that. But let's say I wanted to add this whole row right here. Hold down shift and select that entire row. You'll see that it pops into place with the lattice being included in the lattice. That's by holding shift. So by holding control with edit membership tool you can deselect points and remove them from the deformer so they're no longer being affected by the deformer or hold shift and add them. And then once you're done if you select the lattice again you can manipulate the lattice points and have the changed effect take place. And that's pretty much the gist of Edit Membership Tool. It works for Deformers, so it's under the Edit Deformer menu. So under the Create Deformers, you see all the Deformers that we have available. Edit Deformers, the Edit Membership Tool pretty much works for all of them. So we haven't gone over all these Deformers yet, but we will soon. And just know that this Edit Membership Tool will work for pretty much all of them. Hope you enjoyed that video and uh, you learned a little bit about the Edit Membership Tool. If you have any questions, comments, requests, definitely let me know. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.